Hello everyone, this is Christina from Christina's Art Corner. Today I have a Timu haul, which I haven't done in a while. I saw a few things that I wanted to get and as well found some discounts I could use. And then I have repurchased at least one of the items in here. Uh, two, actually, that I know for sure. And it's in this big box. Normally they came in bags when I've had them before. This time it came in a box. So I figured we would unbox it together and see what is in here. I, I didn't just go on just to purchase from Timo. I, Timo, I had actually knew that I wanted at least to repurchase a couple of things that I liked and enjoyed and served me well and then found a few other items figured I would share now since I had done a brief uh, collaboration with uh, Timu a while ago I still uh, am able to give extend some discounts to you all so I will link those in the description got it open here and here we go all right so since you're not going to be able to see <laughs> everything because the box is so big, I'm going to put it to the side. So we have this first item. I will also insert pictures of these exact products on Timu as well when I edit all right so here is a cute little system that you can hang on your wall here are the pieces and you can put a bunch of items in here anything you want i could do some different washi tapes anything that you wanted to put in here i was thinking of lots of different things that i could put in here really let's see this one would be too tall let's see what else i've got Okay, for instance, these go in here nicely, but just to give you an example, you could maybe put all your gouache in one of these. Like I said, it has a lid, so that's nice. It will keep it dust free. And you can fit quite a bit in there. But I just thought that would be cute on the wall do this right that would be helpful wouldn't it does it slide it does there you see that connection in there it slides there we go so yeah I thought that would be cute to have and like I said you have back here a way to hang it on the wall so it can be convenient to you or you could just have it as a desktop if you want it. In comparison to this box, for instance, that's how long it is. And I like the green because the theme in my room is pink and mint green and light gray and gold. And so that is the first one. And then you just slide it back and forth. Once you've got it on, you just slide it. And I'm just gonna put these back real quick where I did have them. There we go. And I won't open this one, but this is the second one. And it's exactly like the first. So I got two because I thought that would be more aesthetically pleasing than just the one. So I'll leave that to the side. Next up, 
I like that they package some of these this way because it's more of a surprise. <laughs> okay. Here is another storage container. We have 12 openings. And there are these sweet little drawers. Let's just see. I always have my washi tape around, so that's what I always reach for. But you could do rolls of washi tape. I was just seeing if they would stand up like that. Yep. So you could put washi tapes in there. That would be nice. They do come all the way out if you need them to. The drawers. And things like these little, if you have the electric erasers, these are would be nice to put in here. And then just like that. There we go. And then I could individually like put split these between these two, which would be awesome. Or like if you collect pins, that's something else that could go in there. Not with the card, of course, but I've got some Mirabiler pins that could go in there. So. I'm sure you can use your imagination about all the things that you could fit in there. I'm always on the look for storage. So there's that. Okay, an item that is a repurchase is these Guangna acrylic markers. Let me show you my Ahuhu bag, which is storing my markers and I keep them on their side. So I have Posca, I have these Ohuhu acrylic markers, and, oops, I just took the top off, and these are the Guangna, and I also have some of these sparkly Poscas, they're kind of scratchy from the metallic, I suppose. So yeah, I wind up using these a lot in the color by numbers. So I've done a couple of pages in this Disney Princesses, Princesses by Hatchet Heroes. So there is, let me turn the light down a little bit so you don't have as much shine because this page has Mod Podge glitter on it too. There you go. So there's that page, and I thought, yes, and here is the castle. So I did all of these with the Guangna markers, and they work really well, and you don't get any bleeding or wrinkling of the page behind it. I'll show you in both cases. There, no wrinkling. So some, some do, and that's why I really like these. And let's face it, Poscas are expensive to replace. So I got 36 colors. They're the brush tip. I also like that about them, that you can get in tiny places. Okay. Let's get some, oops, that's not scrap paper. Let's get real scrap paper. <laughs> Almost pulled out some stickers. All right. So we have here. They don't have the color name on here. And this GN7100 is on all of them. So you have this nice brush nib. And they're juicy. 
I just I just love them and they also because the cap uh, it has a non-rolling cap Let me just show you they're so easy so nice let me show you this blue it's a nice water sky color and then I'll show you fine line You can get in those fine line spaces. There you go. So yeah, 36 colors. It has a good range. It also has a silver, black, a metallic gold, and then here are the rest. So you do have a nice range of colors along with a couple of metallics I'll go ahead and show you the silver there you go they're just so easy to use you don't have to pump them I really really love these and Timu is where I got them before so Timu it was next item is this bottle here let me open so that I can avoid some of the noise anyway Now I have, uh oh, you know what, it's broken. I'll have to contact them. Well, I do have one of these already and loved it. And so I wanted to get one for my granddaughter because she's been wanting one. And she only has a small cup to take to school with her. And she wanted a bigger one. <sighs> Oh well, but I thought these were cute little mermaid colors for her. She loves mermaids and it has the purple and teal gradient. So there's that. I saw that they had some cases. And so I picked out this one has a pink background with flowers and we have three zippers so yeah single slotted just like I like them very similar to the ones you can get on Amazon I'm running out of patterns <laughs> for the pencil collection so yeah I was in need of another one I have rearranged some of my pencil sets in fact I wound up putting all of my Derwent in one large case, all the Derwent color pencils that I have. So that wound up having me to change a lot of my other pencil sets. So, so yeah, this will be a nice addition. And then next up is a clothing item. Oh, didn't see the zip until too late. And I just thought this was a nice color pink. And it has a cute little design on the front. Has a nice little butterfly and floral print on it. And I thought that would be fun for spring. Isn't that cute? Yeah, it's super fun. And I love butterflies and flowers. Okay, this next item here, if it's what I remember it being, yes, and I'll go ahead and put over here the photo, alright, so I gotta get this right, to so go around, let's see here. 
I get this right. Yep, it is a wrist protector. And you can squeeze it pretty tight. Pretty good. So there you go. I do get cramping and soreness in my wrist if I color too long. And I can release this and have it loose. And it doesn't pinch here, it's very light. It's not a super tight elastic where it's gonna make your hand swell. So, super functional. Looks like it's made well. And it can go on either hand. Like this. And there we go. Just like that. And it's a pretty cool black with little white pattern on it so yeah I, it already feels good <laughs> it's nice to have that compression every now and then with long coloring days Let me just put that together there and put that to the side okay next up I didn't realize this one was coming with stickers Okay, I think I did it. Now I guess on the front, they gave you some stickers if you wanted to make it cute and fun. And let's put some books in here and see how it works. This princess book is about the tallest book I have. And then I have Dreamland. Let me put Magical City by Lizzie Mary Cullen and this one and that one fits and then a bunch of coloring heaven so yeah I thought this would be good for me to sort out what books I want to do during the month and I could just pull right out of here and then I have a bin of completed when I'm done that I just stack them on top so if I've used mixed media it will also flatten any pages that have uh, any crinkle or wrinkle on a page it will flatten it out so after putting this together you know it's it's slightly flimsy but um, you also have let me show it to you like this there's pockets in here, right here, down below. Let me show you this way. You've got some pockets, so you could put pens and things like that in there. Let me just show you. It stands up well, that's for sure. And it does well with quite a few books in it. And let's just put some markers in here got these tall tricolor spectrum noir let's put some pens that works and I have some water bottles those fit in here so yeah I think you have some options here about what you want to put in so you've got storage and a place to store 
some books. So like I said, I like that for what I'm going to do in the month. That might even encourage me not to have more books than what can fit in here to do in a month. <laughs> so it might work double fold for me. <laughs> All right. And then because I had gotten something for my granddaughter, I wanted to get something for my grandson. And if you all saw, I painted him some new tennis shoes recently. I believe I included it in my completed pages, maybe. I think it was there. Anyway, these are super cute. They can go back like a crock or forward. And I just thought these would be a nice little introduction to summer for him. They're super cute. But yeah, nice little, I, th I thought I got sharks, I got dinosaurs. So if I said sharks, I apologize. But you have some palm trees, some volcanoes and all different kinds of dinosaurs. Isn't that cute? So yeah, he'll be super excited. Okay, so this came opened, but it is a resin tool for diamond painting. And we have multiple tips and a roller. So yeah, you have a roller end, and then you have all these different tips. You have some long ones, short ones, and the roller. And these did come in different colors, I believe. I got the blue. So yeah, super cool something that I needed. My granddaughter and I are working on a unicorn. So that will come in handy. Make sure I don't lose any parts. You all know that on my previous hauls, I had gotten some press on nails and these work very well. And I got some that are green with flowers. These are blue, a nice pale blue with stars and glitter. And then here are some butterfly in, butterflies in pink. And then I got this real pretty sparkly like galaxy blue. So those are for me. <laughs> And then also my thinking with the stand-up organizer that I got was to get these A4 30 pocket display books. I've been printing out more PDFs than I thought that I would. And so these come with the 30 sheet protectors. And then yeah there we go and then you can close it up like that and I got one in purple blue and green so those will be nice also because I started I had gotten a a different type at Timu and starting to fill up those pages <laughs> with PDF so I thought you know what let me go ahead and get some more of them I like that they are enclosed you can wrap them closed and uh, yeah so I got three of these okay next item is a wireless mouse and it's flat black and sleek and I believe that this goes to it because this wound up getting opened in transport it has a 
USB. It has the one that you take out, of course, and insert. But I don't think I bought anything else electronic that would go with this, so. But yeah, that is for my partner in desperate need of a new mouse. And so we found this one and that's what we got. And for my partner also, we got these. And I'll have to ask again what these were for because now I'm forgetting. I'm sure when I put up on the screen what they are, we'll all know. But they have black and white American flags on them. And there's two sets. So I'll be able to tell you what they're for on the screen. It's not coming to mind at the moment. So that's two packages of those. Next thing is some flower pages. We have all different kinds of papers in here. I thought this would be great for mixed media. Lots of cute papers. And I have a few mixed media projects that I want to do. Looks like you get some multiples of the prints. At least two each from what I'm seeing. 50 sheets. Let's have a good day. I shall try. And then here are some stickers. Look at all of these. We have all kinds of things here. I'll spread them all about. So yeah, that'll be great for mixed media as well. We have the Stiletti, we have flowers, butterflies, all different sized things here. So yeah, that's going to be great for some collages, mixed media, fabulous. Love, love, love. And then here is a small diamond kit. Okay, so you do, let's just look at this real close. All right, so yeah, the, you make your own stickers with the uh, diamond art. That's right. I remember now. I thought these would be fun to do with my granddaughter. And here's all the drills. And they give you the wax, a little tray. There you go. Very simple. Inexpensive. Something fun to do with my granddaughter when she comes over. I always like to have little surprise crafts to do. Keep her busy. <laughs> if you all didn't see the video that we did of our fantasy maps, don't forget to check that out. I'll put in an eye in the sky for that video. It was super fun and she read some of the lovely comments you all wrote. And she was super elated and excited and she's 11 so that's big stuff for her <laughs> but yeah I think that is my last item so we got through it so I think I got a lot of good items good useful items I hope you enjoyed this Timu haul this was for me to share with you I will put some discount codes that's not why I did this video though um, just certain things that I definitely wanted to purchase again and some other fun items for future projects. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your weekend. 
a great week ahead. Happy coloring to everybody. Bye-bye.